For 40 years, the U.S. and Iran have been locked in an almost nonstop confrontation. The details may change, but this fundamental rivalry hasn't. The U.S. is now demanding that other countries stop buying Iranian oil, the one product that keeps that country's economy afloat, if just barely. These sanctions will further weaken Iran's already fragile economy and add to tensions in the region. But what's not clear is whether this will help the Trump administration achieve its goals of changing Iranian behavior on three broad fronts. First, the administration wants to keep Iran's nuclear program in check. There's broad international consensus that Iran is abiding by a 2015 nuclear deal, which effectively scaled back and suspended its program. But Trump pulled the U.S. out of the deal in 2018, claiming it wasn't tough enough on Iran. Now, in light of the U.S. oil sanctions, Iran is threatening to resume enriching uranium at higher levels than the agreement allows. If Iran takes that step, it could dramatically ratchet up tensions. A second U.S. goal is persuade or force Iran to scale back aggressive actions in the wider Middle East. Iran supports a range of governments and militias at odds with the United States. The Iranians have pursued this policy for decades and have built a strong network of alliances across the region, in countries that include Iraq, Syria, Lebanon, and Yemen. Iran sees these partnerships as major successes and has resisted attempts to roll back its involvement in neighboring countries. And finally, the Trump administration is the latest in a long line of U.S. administrations calling for a different kind of government in Iran. The Shiite Muslim clerics there have dominated the country since the 1979 Islamic Revolution. It's important to remember that the U.S. and Iranian military forces operate in close proximity on land and at sea, and a small incident or a miscalculation by either side could escalate quickly into a much larger conflict. Greg Myrie, NPR News.